Hi everybody and today I have Catherine Richards from Catherine Richards Lighting with us today which I'm very excited about because I've been waiting for you for a long time. No. Um, so thank you and welcome. Well thank you for inviting me. Thank you for coming. So my first question is where does one come across artisans like yourself who make very special pieces of lighting? Um, you know in the interior design industry it is very difficult to come across unique pieces, whether that's furniture or lighting or really anything. Um, so, you know, where would an interior designer find an artisan like yourself? Well, um, I think you're right. I think it is really difficult to find artisans. Um, I think obviously social media platforms are a good place to start, but even then you kind of have to know who you're looking for, don't you, before you find them. Art galleries, I think, exhibitions. I think galleries are a really good place because often you do find very interesting objects because if you want bespoke pieces, especially like my lamps, they are really pieces of art. Yeah. So it's as if you were looking for a painting for somebody and if you wanted to find a painting for a client, I think you'd look in an art gallery. I think yeah. you'd start trawling through artists who are painting for example abstract if that's what you're looking for yeah artists who are working with clay artists who are casting pieces bronze artists I don't know I think you'd probably have to google all those kind of words and eventually I think artisans would appear yeah and you and you're absolutely right what you do you know you're selling essentially table lamps but they are you know, you only have to look at them to know that actually they are pieces of art that yeah, you've illuminated. They are. As opposed to table lamps. Yes. Um, which is very, very special and I yes. think not not easy to come across. No. You know, there are some beautiful uh, table lamp suppliers, but I think what you do goes one step beyond that, which is really lovely to see. Yeah, thank you. So just staying with that for a minute, where would, you know, because they are very special pieces and to my mind, you know, an interior designer like myself or anybody who loves art is going to fall in love with what you do because, you know, you've almost created sculpture um, and sculptural pieces. And so because they are very unique, where would you place table lamps like your lamps? You know, because they're not your sort of standard um, bedside table lamp. You know, where would you say is no, a good place to have them? Well, they are, they're, they are focal points aren't they yeah like a painting and yeah. i keep going back to paintings because it's kind of easy easier to understand how yeah. you would place a painting but i think you would put a lamp like mine on a very special table perhaps in a hallway a front entrance or in a particular place in a sitting room maybe near a painting mm -hmm. so that you've got a kind of a, an arrangement of art but it is, like you say, it's also a practical object. It's a lamp. Yeah. So it's going to illuminate. And what's interesting about them is that because they are very sculptural and very textural, when they're turned on, the light is thrown down them yeah. and all the texture comes up. So I think they are, they're a feature. Yeah. No, absolutely. Mm. You wouldn't necessarily have two of them in one place. You almost use it as an objet d'art. Yeah. I think um, two would be... Well, I guess you could. I'm not yeah. going to dissuade <laughs> the anyone the from merrier. having to. <laughs> well, I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. And in Thank fact, you. they are even more outstanding and, and prominent in the flesh. Yeah. Um, and the pictures of them are beautiful on Instagram. But actually, when you see them, they really are mm. um, impressive and um, impress upon you how um, incredible, you know, they, they make you feel in Thank many ways. Thank you. Um, so... Again, with, with, with something like this, and it is very unique and it is very artisanal, is there naturally going to be a price association with that? Yeah. Yeah. It's art. Yeah. And art is very subjective. People will pay £100,000 for a piece of art yeah. if they love it and they can afford it. Some people will pay £500 for a piece of art because that's all they can afford, but they yeah. love it. I think the thing about art is that it's it's a it triggers something in you, doesn't yeah. it? And people buy art 
like they make most purchases through the way they feel or the way that that object makes them feel. And I think the lamps have a price tag unapologetically. Yeah, absolutely. Because they're art. Yeah, absolutely. And you only have to see one to know that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I say that with all all my heart because I, I saw... Um, the lamp and this is how I found you yeah I saw the lamp in an article a magazine um, and I lost it yeah. and I thought gosh I where is that you know I could never find it and then yeah. of course I came across the Instagram page mm. and I thought finally I well, found you it shows you the um, power of social media works no absolutely it really works but it, but you know I fell in love based mm. on the photograph but I would genuinely advise anybody who sees your work to see it also in the flesh because mm. oh my goodness it's even more outstanding oh. um i mean I, I you know i'm overwhelmed by it really beautiful um and with um with these kinds of table lamps are you know because they aren't your you know your normal table lamp mm. um would you advise people coming to see them and if they do see them, is that something, you know, do they have to directly contact you um, and, and arrange it or are they on show somewhere? They're not currently on show, um, but they can contact me yeah. and um, um, they can be, I can bring them. On DM or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, and question for you, is the actual just, you know, technicality of it, is it just a standard wiring? So, you know, I um, we were talking about this also earlier. I remember when I was, first became a designer being asked what color, mm. um, you know, wire I wanted and what kind of plug and I had no idea. <laughs> and, you know, is it is it just a standard um, wire or are those made bespoke depending on what the client needs? No, the cables that are, that are wired into the lamps, I choose. Okay. And they are, um, they're all, particular colors to match the lamp so not all of them have the same color cables most of them have that lovely cotton twisted cables not all but they all have a cable which i think complements the lamp and which doesn't kind of stand out Mm -hmm. um they're all wired for the uk but they can be wired for overseas they all have a 13 amp plug on them but they could have a 5 amp plug on them depending on the lighting system in the house okay and they're all pat tested so they're all what does that mean? It means for, those, that, for those who don't, for those who don't know, it means that they're all wired up to the UK regulations, and at the time of purchase, they will all have a brand new pat test. That has to, you know, if I, you you don't usually retest your what your lamps in your own home, but for every one that I sell, it gets a new pat test, which means it's going out and it's been properly tested and it's safe. Okay, brilliant. My final question mm. is. Obviously, this is a limited collection, a beautiful limited collection. Is there any more coming? Are there any sort of plans for new yeah. designs? And, you know, do you have any new ideas coming? I've got lots and lots of ideas. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think probably what will happen over the course of the next year, I will start to build a brand new collection. So okay. it won't be a tag on to this one. Somehow these pieces seem to dovetail quite nicely together. Yeah. And I don't really want to extend that range. I'd rather create a completely different range. So I'm mulling. Well, we cannot, (laughs) I cannot wait to see. Um, And I'm very excited. So thank thank you very much. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you very much.